Hello and welcome to another Sea of Power Scripts tutorial with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the CF Select Product Power Script to basically select or pre-select a product based on a user's interaction with a button. So when a user clicks on a specific button, it will pre-select or select a specific product for him. Now you may be wondering where and when you would need a power script like that. And I'm gonna show you two different use cases. Obviously there are likely more, but it's like two that I can think of that I'm gonna show you in this video. So make sure to watch the video till the end. As always, in order for us to get started, we're gonna log into our CF Power Scripts account and there go to the Power Scripts section. Now you would pick the funnel that you want to add the script to. I'm gonna pick my development funnel here. And within the funnel, we are going to select the order form where we are going to use that script. And I'm gonna use my regular order form here because it's easier to show. Now you can see on this order form that I'm also using the CF multi pop-up script, which basically will serve one of the purposes or one of the scenarios that I thought about why the script or when the script would be useful. And from here, we're just gonna click add new, look for select product, click on the power script and click on add script to add it to this funnel step. Now, as you can see here, I have two pages on this funnel step, which means I have a split test running, but we are only going to modify the first one here. And for that, we're gonna click on the shortcut and first of all, click on opening click funnels. I'm gonna close the other tabs here real quick. And additionally, we're gonna go back and we're also gonna open it in the page editor. I'm gonna put the page editor on the right. We open it in ClickFunnels here because we need to go to the products tab because we will need the product IDs to define which product should be selected. And in the page editor, you can see that I already have a couple of buttons here that are actually already set up. Now, as mentioned currently, I also have the multi pop-up script active here in this demo funnel page. And so when we look at show pop-up, you can see here that it has pop-up one, pop-up two, pop-up three. So it has different content here that will vary depending on which button the user clicks on. And for more information about how that works, I recommend that you watch the step-by-step -step tutorial for the CF multi pop-up power script. And we have our product selector here. And while the rest of the order form, as you can see, is still in the background, which obviously doesn't make a lot of sense on a live funnel, you could also move all those elements. I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this demo. So you could build your whole order form in the pop-up. And again, we have the product selector here. We'll also on the order form itself have the product summary somewhere at the bottom. We're gonna remove that here. And that would be something that you necessarily don't have to worry about. I'm just moving it to show you another or potential use case again. So, and I'm gonna create a new row here. So we're just gonna call it one column row and add the order summary element here. There we have it here, order summary. So we have it here. Now the buttons here are to select product one, product, product two or product three. And as you can see on the URL, they also trigger different pop-ups. Now again, for the explanation, how it works with selecting different pop-up content, please watch the CF multi pop-up video. And in order to pre-select the product, what we have to do is we go on a button, we go to settings and we click on the hashtag icon in the bottom right corner to change the CSS title. And you can already see it's structured CFPS minus product minus, and that's the product ID. And you can get the product ID from your product. When you look at it, you go on edit, and then in the URL that you see in your address bar, you have funnel steps. The next number is the step ID, product, and the number here is the product ID. And so you can basically copy the product ID from the URL by editing the product and then use it here, CFPS minus product minus product ID. Now I've already done that for product one, two, and three here. So we'll save that. And now we can just open the funnel preview here and we will see our order from funnel step with our three buttons. Now when I click on product one, it's not that special because the first product is anyway usually pre-selected when you open an order from funnel page. However, you notice that it only says pop-up one here and the text pop-up two and pop-up three disappeared, which is part of the CF multi pop-up power script. So this is not handled or the content change up here is not handled by the CF select product power script. 
When we now close the pop-up and I click on product two, you can see that product two is selected and also the order summary here is updated. And when I click on product three, the same happens again. We have the third product selected and the order summary also reflects that. So now you may be tempted to get rid of the first element here, so of the product selector and only show the user the product summary or order summary, but that does not work because your order form needs to have or has to have an order select or product select element. However, what we can do if we go back in the editor, we can go to pop-up, show pop-up, and we can hide the row so you cannot hide this element here because it would basically prevent the element from working, but we can hide the row that contains this element by going to the settings and using the eye icon and save our funnel changes again. And again, click on preview. I'm gonna close the previous preview. And now when we click on product two, for example, we can see that first of all, the multi pop-up script shows us the content for pop-up two. Second of all, the order summary script shows us that we have product two selected and not product one without actually showing the user buttons or radio buttons to change the product selection. And the same obviously works for product three and also again for product one. So you could use this power script, for example, in combination with the multi pop up power script, like you see in this video, to actually have buttons and maybe image elements and some text that explains your product and the button could then say buy now or buy this or whatever. And when the user clicks on the button, it could open your order form in the pop up and only show the user what he's already selected, taking away distraction so that he doesn't get confused by other product options in the pop up. And on top of that, thanks to the multi pop up power script, you can also adjust the content that he sees above or below the order form element. So you could then again add a different product image that shows and confirms what he has selected by clicking on the button. But you could also do the same without the multi pop up power script. In that case, if we go back to the page editor and here I'm going to go into the pop up and I'm going to actually go to rows manage to show our product selector element or row again. And I'm going to get rid of both those rows and elements right here, close the pop up and I'm also going to um, add the order summary again, and I'm gonna add it just to make it easier just here, order summary, and I'm gonna add a new row because again, we cannot hide the product select element, but we can hide the row or order select, but we can hide the row that it contains. So I added the order select here in a separate row. And again, I'm gonna hide that row. And last but not least, I'm gonna change the buttons here. So there's no pop-up action and I'm gonna set action and simply leave a hashtag in here. So nothing else but a hashtag. And it's gonna complain here, but it will still work as expected. So I'm gonna get rid of this and gonna get rid of that. And we're also gonna get rid of that for the third button. So again, we just leave a hashtag in here. So there's no real URL action going on. And we're gonna go to preview. And now when I click on product two, we can see it switches to the payment plan. When I click on product three, it switches to the one-time purchase and so on. Now you could combine that with the scroll to actions for the buttons. So if your order form, the actual order form is further down below, you could have your buttons on top or maybe in a two or three column row and have select product A, select product B, select product C with a product image, a sort description and so on. And when people click on the button, it would select that product and scroll down to the order form to basically allow the user to continue his checkout process. So while the C of select product power script is quite simple, it doesn't do a lot of fancy things. There are quite a few use cases where it may make sense or where it may be useful in your funnels to basically structure the flow and make it easier for a user to pick between different products. Now, I hope this video helped you set up the power script. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can either leave them in the comments down below or you can simply reach out to us. We are more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and even more so, thanks for using CF Power Scripts. See you in one of my other tutorials. Till then, bye bye.